Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, in today's video, I wanted to talk about why I wake up at 6 a.m. every morning um, because a lot of you guys have been seeing um, that I post that every day on Instagram and so a lot of people have been, af has been, have been asking me. So I wanted to make a video. So my main reason why I wake up at 6 a.m. every morning is because for me it, it gives me the feeling that no matter what shit happens the day before, no matter how late of calls I have, no matter if like random stuff comes up and I have to stay up late, I'm always starting my day at a blank slate and I'm not carrying um, you know, the craziness of the day before into the next day. Um, but to kind of backtrack how I got started on it, and I think I started out how many people start out with waking up early, it's that it's cool. Like, people tell you everywhere that in order to be successful, and in order to be productive, and in order to get shit done, you need to wake up early every morning. 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 4 a.m., whatever the fuck it is. Um, and that's what I thought. I'm like, oh damn, like, I'm, I'm waking up at 8 a.m., like, what am I? It's, it's, sleezing off here and so I, I really did it because it was cool I actually did a 30 day waking up at 5 a.m. every day when I was still in New York but I never stuck with it after that I dropped off again I trade tried a lot of other different things different times but never stuck with it when I finally stuck with it is when I shifted my mindset from not doing it because it's cool or because people tell you you should do it but really because I realize for myself it helps me with that feeling of getting a head start of everyone else starting the day early before the actual day starts and it also helped me prioritize things like stretching and meditating in the morning because I realized when I was waking up at 8 a.m. I often skipped meditating and stretching even though I knew they were important to me because I suddenly was in a rush to to get started to get my day started to start working to start answering emails because I knew everyone else already started the day because it's 8 a.m. but giving me giving myself that additional time in the morning that just feels kind of like it's your time you're to yourself other people are still sleeping people are not working yet um, really gave me the time and the headspace to prioritize these things that I wanted to do. Could be journaling too, I journaled a bit in the morning, I stopped doing that, but really those kind of like habits. And um, But I also realized the importance of getting the right amount of sleep and I really do believe you should be getting seven to eight hours of sleep every night. And so what happened was that you know, sometimes I'm having late night things, whether that's a call at 11 p.m. that I couldn't like quite control, or whether that's like some shit happening and that, that I suddenly needed to get to. Um, and and so what happened was if, if I went to bed at let's say 12 p.m. because something happened or I had a late call um, and I knew I wanted to get eight hours of sleep, I would just say like, okay, today, you know, I'm not waking up at 6 a.m. and I'm waking up at 8 a.m. Um, and I tried to get to bed early enough every day, but it didn't happen every time. Um, I felt bad about it. I felt bad about waking up at 8 a.m. because now I just couldn't bring myself to prioritize meditation, journaling, and stretching because I wanted to start my day. And so really when I made that shift of saying I'm going to wake up at 6 a.m. every day no matter when I go to sleep, I try to go to sleep at 10 p.m. every night, but if it doesn't happen, I'm still going to wake up at 6 a.m. If that means getting four hours of sleep or six hours of sleep or whatever, I'm still going to do it because for me that gives me the kind of like mental um, peace of knowing that no matter what craziness and shit happens the day before with late calls and, and sudden things I need to get to, it's not carrying into the next day where I'm then skipping my meditation, which then snowballs into the whole day, not playing out the way I want to play out. Now, as I said, I still think it's important to get you know the right amount of sleep, seven to eight hours, so I try to get to catch up with that sleep by you know either going to bed early the next night and going to bed at 9 p.m. or getting a nap in the afternoon 
or even going to bed after going back to bed after I did my meditation and sleeping for another 30 minutes or one hour. Um, I'm definitely not 100% on track with that. That's still like something that I'm like trying to figure out for myself. Um, but for me, I'd rather lose a couple hours here and there, but having the mental peace of knowing that I have this anchor of 6 a.m. and I'm starting my day at 6 a.m. no matter what happened the day before. And so those are my reasons. Um, with this video, I want to make sure that like this video is not about telling you that you should wake up at 6 a.m. because that's kind of going into what I talked about earlier of just doing it because you think you should do it or because it's cool or do you think you've got to do it to be productive. Um, but I do think there's some massive value in trying to figure out what you what you want to do and then finding a time for yourself, whether that's 6 a.m. or 5 a.m. or 8 a.m. that works for you and doing that consistently and waking up at that time every day. Doesn't matter what time, but so you have some some anchor to be able to come back to. Yeah, that's the video. That's why I wake up at 6 a.m. every day. Um, if you guys have any question, drop them down below and um, then see you in the next video. If you like the video, obviously make sure to like and subscribe to be able to see other videos and then see you in the next video. Peace out. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up.